a linguine with clams, which is, uh, uh, I would say, everybody has a good recipe, have a better recipe, or, uh, you know, I just go by, I'm Italian, and all I know is uh, one recipe. So. You know, I stick to what I know, and uh, I know that the, the one I make is usually is usually very good. So it's uh, the, the you know the, the basic ingredients is uh, extra virgin olive oil, garlic, of course, uh, clams. I use I like I use the baby clams. You know, they call it the Manila clams, the little neck clams. That's how big they are. This is my thumb, so kind of my like my thumb. You know, that's and uh, you know make sure they're all closed. They're all closed, nice and clean. And, uh, that's the main thing. And then we, I use uh, uh, parsley, and then I use uh, the linguine with clams. I use uh, the little pepper flakes so to make a little bit spicy. So, and then I, I add a little bit of white wine just to make it, uh, to make it, uh, you know, just uh, to give it a little bit of extra flavor. And we, I don't add any salt, no salt because the salt is in the water. And sometimes when I see that a little bit too dry, I, I, I use a couple of spoons of the, the, the boiling water from the, from the pasta, just in there, just to, uh, so, you know, just to add a little bit more, more moisture. If you go to Napoli, if you go to you know, Capri, uh, Positano, all that area, this is where the linguine with clams, uh, they are really famous for. And of course up north where I come from, in the Liguria Sea, uh, that's uh, linguine with clams is very, and over there, that's how they make it. So I believe that uh, sometimes it's like a pizza, like a marinara, like a San Marzano tomato. Uh, you know, do you, you start with the origin, where things come from, and then you build on it. You know, everybody, you know, I've seen linguine with clams, with, they put with broccoli inside, I've seen it with cauliflower, I've seen. Uh, you can add uh, a lot of different things and it makes it, but if you do it right, it's perfect. Normally, it's really good. So I just, I would say, for that many clams, just an upper pound of clams, I use about an ounce of olive oil. An ounce, an ounce and a half. So just, uh, you just heat it up. And the garlic, I don't chop the garlic, personally, because today, uh, you know, if you go to Italy, uh, the garlic is still in the, they call it aglio in camicia, the garlic in the shirt. So garlic in the, in the, in his own skin. That's how they use it. So this one here, I took the garlic, I smashed a little bit. I put, uh, I put three, uh, three of them, three, three uh, cloves, uh, three, they call it cloves of garlic. And, uh, but then you just take the, put the, give, give the flavor of the olive oil and, uh, you know, and uh, but then, yeah, but then you take it out. Uh, I'll personally take it out just to you, know, you get some until it start to burning a little bit. So and uh, so it gets a little bit of the flavor. Always use uh, the extra virgin olive oil. Make sure of that. Then I'll take the clams. I take a little bit of uh, the hot pepper. Put it in. Then we have another version. We call it uh, we call it impepata di cozze. Impepata di cozze means a pepper with a with pepper pepper uh, uh, clams. So you put like a little bit. In the, you can put a lot of the pepper. As you can see. That's what you get when you're in the kitchen. A little bit of fire. If you can stand the fire, get out of the kitchen. <laughs> so, at the same time, we have the boiling water. We put the linguine inside. Uh, Sometimes if you want it to, if it gets, if you see it gets a little bit too dry, you can add one spoon or two spoon of the, of the water from the pasta. It's always nice to, if you want it to open a little bit faster, you can always cover them with a, with a, with a little lid so you, 
you create you create a little bit of a vacuum inside and um, as you can see they're opening up as you can see through it they open up much faster the juice comes out and you start having the the flavor of the as you can see some of them already wide open um, this is ready you put it in you toss it over We add a little bit of a uh, little bit of parsley to give a little bit of color, and also, you know, adds a little bit of flavor to it. Fresh is fresh, fresh Italian garlic, and uh, you can keep it on the fire for. Now at this point, you can lower the fire, and uh, you can leave it there. So if you have a uh, gas coming in, uh, you can just let it uh, cook for uh, just a few more minutes. Yeah, you can do it the way I do it. You need uh, 50 years of experience to use a knife, I mean a fork and a, and a spoon. So if you don't know, if you don't know how to use those, then you just do that. More conventional way. And um, so that basically, so you're ready to go. And my suggestion to really have a wonderful, I mean to enhance the flavor of the clams and uh, everything that you put in there already there is like perfect. I always like to add a, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil at the end. And when you're ready to serve it, just a little bit of olive oil like this. Yeah, the flavor is, I mean, that adds an incredible uh, nose to that, you know, like a, it's like smelling on some fantastic wine like you're gonna have with Chiro later on so bon appetito enjoy it thank you very much